Hi ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about the aims and the purposes of adult learning. For all my topics, I focus so many on the characteristics of adult learning and what features can you recall from those articles that represent adult learning that is unique from child learning. No doubt, there are other features that show the uniqueness of adult learning that make us realize that in fact adult and child has different preferences. Furthermore, those features are of adult learning that cannot apply to children uh, according to Malayan in 1993. These are the self-directed learning which is called antagogy and the transformational education example operation from social systems leads to transformational learning and also the situated condition example learning occurs in interaction with the setting itself and its social and too dependent nature. So we focus so much on the feminist pedagogy where we try to understand how women and minorities know and learn. There is no such thing as femi feminist pedagogy in child learning. We have heard of competition among the children in the subjects that they are studied, competition to see who is teacher's pet or who is teacher's favorite. Whereas in adults, we compete in power with each other. This is called a power relation. So there is no such um, term as power relation in children's learning. So according to Tista in 1993, if there is an unequal power relationship among the uh, parties and the tendency of struggling for power is likely to be intense. So meaningful learning for adults is those that um, associate with the everyday problems in their social world. So no learning subjects such as uh, children do like mathematics, science, etc. And it will be no meaning for adults. So learning is finding meaning in the, in the things that they learn, whether the final can be used to earn a living, did money make enough for survival, or found interesting things in the things in things that they learned. So education has assumed separation between learning and doing. So treating knowledge as an integral, self-sufficient substance, theoretically independent of the situations in which it acquired and used. So this central conception of philosophy as transferable um, has dominated adults' theories of learning. So the center of learning for adults is to achieve the aim of transfer of the previous knowledge to the new experience termed situated connection. Discernment is an inner journey towards and dialogue with an unconscious, with unconscious. So one must first be receptive or open to information that surfaces, then recognize and acknowledge its relevance, and finally grieve the disintegration of prior structure and ways of learning to move on. So all of us as practitioners of life can continue to explore both within ourselves overall as with our client and colleagues as experiential understanding uh, of a broader, more expanded self, whether as um, temporary levels and stakes or developmentally a structure of consciousness, according to Bo in 1993. I partially like Dallow's idea. He challenged teachers to think about their teaching not so much regarding developing competency but rather regarding fostering personal development. This is stated by, 1990, uh, by Clark in 1993. Two teachers, for example, who are teaching the same level of students but one had more learning experience than the other. And the expert teacher is the one who is more experienced and is complaining about the no wise teacher chooses a new teacher in other words for not following the program established because the program is saying to be a successful one and attract many students to, to the center. Unfortunately, the complaints had never made any real discussion into any real discussion or collaboration between the two teachers and on matters concerning personal opinions and the students. And the competence became more intense as more complaints made by the expert teacher to another third party on how the new teacher, which is a novice teacher, the way she taught the students. 
So this sort of competence would downgrade the genuine commitment of both teachers that may deteriorate both parties' professional development. There will be another picture of the competency, uh, altered by collaboration discussion and meet both differences by commits to improving the reputation of the centre. So competition within without con uh, negotiation is the worst en enemy of all professions. In the above scenarios, we are talking about the transformational learning. And the idea of dialogues, according to Clark 1993, suggests a, a democratic vision where personal growth and development are the goal of education. Dialogues also places a premium at the higher stages of development and autonomous self and toward an acknowledgement of the interconnectedness of all things. Okay, that concludes my today's topic on the aims and purposes of adult learning. And my next topic will be the continuing education agency and its parents organization. Stay tuned. Thank you for listening and goodbye.